Jason. How are your hips doing, man? Yeah, kind of sore. Morning everybody. We're at home today. It's a Sunday. Holy day. Happy day of rest to you. Hopefully you're finding yourself in a restful situation. <laughs> Look at our tree back here. Look at this. Look at poor Myrtle. So Myrtle here was struggling with uh, a bit of a fungal problem. And so we got uh, treatment for her. And I don't know if it did anything. We might have to do it again. The experts where we bought this thing from weren't too concerned with what was going on with that. I am. I'm not a tree expert, but it's losing its leaves. And it looks sad. I mean, it's a weeping willow. It's supposed to look sad, but I mean, it looks like... It looks weak. Poor girl. Maybe it'll bounce back, like they said, uh, but still got some good healthy leaves on there. Guess we'll see what happens. Let her go through winter and see what happens in spring, right? Look at the trees back there, though. They're changing color already. It's like the calendar changes over to September, and they're like, okay, guys, get ready. It's almost time to fall down. Man, waste no time. God, our poor Diesel, his hips are still bothering him. They're so stiff. You can see that back, the back right one. So, uh... Oh, we'll give him some privacy. We'll give him privacy. Excuse me, excuse me. You gotta warn us, Diesel. Doing okay? Hits you quick, eh? One day you're jumping on the countertops, the next day you're old. It's okay to get old, man. Happens to all of us. It's tough though, right? Let's get you inside so you can lay down. It doesn't like standing for too long now. Come on, Chevy. Wiener. Okay, well, seniors first, but well, technically the wiener is the oldest. You wouldn't be able to tell, he's in pretty good shape. The time has come, we're gonna skip ahead here a bit. The time has come to bring Old Blue to the shop. It needs a full service, top to bottom, side to side, front to back. And while we're here at the shop, since it's Labor Day weekend, you know, this sort of signals winding down of summertime, which here in Manitoba means it's going to start getting cold at night again. Sweater weather is upon us very soon. I know I shouldn't speak too soon. I don't want to jinx it. I'm sorry. But it's the truth. You know, we have to be able to speak the truth openly. It's a very important part of life. You have people speak the truth. Winter's coming. So what that means is daytimes are still pretty warm, but nighttimes get a little bit chilly and it's going down close to freezing in the next couple of weeks at night. And then it goes like way back up to like the 60s during the day, like the 20s in Celsius. And then it goes almost down to freezing again at night. So it's a huge range until it slowly stops going up higher and higher and it comes down lower down until suddenly it's just cold all the time. So I don't want the shop to freeze at night. So it is time to engage the floor heat, which means it won't be on. It just means that I'm putting power to it. There it is. So the heat won't be on. It only turns on when it needs to. And I keep the shop at about uh, 15, uh, a max, a minimum of 15 to 17 Celsius, which is about 60 Fahrenheit. It's usually what I keep this at while I'm not here. While I'm working in here, I'll turn it up a bit. But So this won't turn on for a while, but I'm not going to be home during the week. I'll probably be at work. So if the temperature does dip below freezing, I have to make sure stuff in here doesn't freeze. So it's time to turn that on. That was a moment I had to share it with you. <sighs> Summer is so short in Manitoba. 
but we love it. It is an awesome summer. I think, no, I think, it's a personal opinion, I think that because we have such long, harsh winters, that when we get our nice, warm summer, all like four weeks of it, like four, eight weeks of it, let's be okay, eight weeks, maybe a bit more, okay. When we have our summer weather, we appreciate it more. I think. I mean, if it's hot all year round, it's not special. But if it's freezing cold and minus 40 half the year, when it finally does get up to like plus 30, like 80, 90 Fahrenheit, it's a little bit more special. So what I gotta do is I gotta get these tarps off of here. PBX doesn't need those. I'm gonna get that off. Throw these tarps off to the side, bring my truck into PBX and let them do their magic. Service this truck. So it's ready to go. All right, Blue, you're gonna be feeling good. Buddy. I've got old blue loaded back up weekends over. I had actually a bit of an extra long weekend It was Labor Day weekend this past week 2024 if you're watching this in the future I know this gets released a little bit Later as well. So I'm a little bit behind in wishing everybody a happy late happy Labor Day a happy Labor Day Happy Labor Day. I hope you guys had a good long weekend that you were able to have some time with some family and This weekend signifies the winding down of summer down towards fall. So Get out those sweaters. The leaves are gonna start falling before you know it, especially here in Manitoba. So thanks everybody for joining me today. Uh, it's just gonna be a short little quick video. I've got Old Blue ready. We're gonna go pick up a trailer at our yard and I'm gonna head to Kenora. I gotta pick up a load there in the morning. Kenora is two hours uh, east of Winnipeg, around about where my region is. So should be fun. We'll get there tonight. We'll load first thing tomorrow morning rush down to Brainerd, Minnesota, get that unloaded in the afternoon, and then hopefully have a reload lined up by that time. Who knows? First things first, let's go get our trailer. Okay, see if we can find one. I see this step deck right here. Is that one red tagged? Red tag means that it's up for maintenance or repair. Yeah, it's got a red tag on it. Ah, okay. Can't take it if it's got a red tag. How about over here? We got one, two, three of the older style step decks. That's the kind that we took down to Indiana last week. I don't like them as much because they only have winches on one side. But I might end up taking one of those. I'm just gonna go do a quick little loop. Most of these, ah, why do they all have red tags on them? That's frustrating for me. Oh, 121, 121, no, it's got a red tag on it. Come on, what in the world? What in the world? What in tarnation? Uh, all the good trailers are going in for maintenance. Some of them are going in for warranty work. Oh, we got 130D right here. Woo! Yep. That's the one! These are the best trailers, the aluminum ones. Yep, they got winches on both sides. They're sliding winches, so it's easier to type right down. There's no red tag on that. You're coming with me, buddy. You're gonna be my friend, whether you like it or not. Let's just go down and check the safety. Safety is due October 2024. It was due next month. I'm filming this in September 2024 do next month. I'm only going to have it for a week. So that's good. It's not due till the end of October. Fantastic. It's hard to get one of these. Everybody else goes for these right away, right? The other ones, like I said, it's so hard to tie freight down when you only got winches on one side of the trailer. I don't know who designs trailers like that. If you're one of those guys and one of those engineers and manufacturers out there that's engineering trailers in 2024 and you're still only putting winches on one side of the trailer. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Put winches on both sides, please. Every trucker on earth thanks you. And sliding winches. Sliding. None of them fixed winches. Those are useless as well.
Oh, it feels good already. It feels like it's gonna be a good trailer. Let's do our prey trip on it, make sure that my feelings are right, because you don't just trust your feelings in trucking. You can't just hook up onto something and be like, yeah, it feels good, let's go. And you sort of gotta check to make sure the whole pre-trip thing, because, you know, the whole thing about tires flying off, people don't like that. It's frowned on. You don't want your tires to fall off. So make sure you check them. So the following morning here, uh, I had a really good sleep. I drove past the shipper when I got into town, and there's a bit of a line up there. Uh, it looked like there was about three other trucks that'll be in front of me in the morning, possibly, but they might be going somewhere else to load because there's, there's a whole area there that guys sometimes park in overnight and sometimes they're not loading the same stuff as me. Other times they uh, they go in total different and, and they're not going to be in line with me in the morning. So that's what I'm kind of hoping for. kind of hoping for they're not part of our line. But either way, I'm going to try to get there right now, first thing, and uh, see how quickly we can get loaded. I'm hoping we can get unloaded the same day because we only have Thursday and Friday this week to make some money because the truck had to be serviced and just so so happened that it was right after a long weekend that the truck needed it. So we had a long weekend on Monday, Labor Day weekend, and then on the Tuesday, the truck went in to serve, get serviced, right? And by the time it was ready to go, uh, here we are. So we've got to make the most of the week. It's the way it works. It's, it's just the way it happens and it's the way the dice is rolled. And there's no problem with that. So let's go and see what the lineup looks like. Uh, I'm kind of curious I, I I really need to get loaded quickly so if there's a bunch of people in front of me it might be a bit of a long morning and I might have to unload tomorrow morning instead which well let's just go see first before we make any conclusions it's gonna be a good day though you ever just get that feeling you wake up in the morning you're like yep today's my day today's gonna be a good day if you don't, you just gotta say it anyways, and see what happens. The sun is joining us later and later in the day already. It's starting to get cooler at night. You can sort of see a yellowish brown tinge on these leaves. So I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, later part of your summer. it'll last quite a while yet last year we had a pretty mild winter in 2023 to 24 it was actually all right you know we i think we only had like at the roundabout take the second exit in one kilometer we only had like well, what one week of really cold temperatures which is abnormal for manitoba but it was great usually we have about four weeks of deep freeze for comparison Here's the water, so here's your sign. It's your sign to get out on the lake before it gets cold again. Get that boat out on the water. That's what I should be doing. I should be going for a run every morning. It takes a lot of commitment and devotion though. So I respect those At who do that. Take the second exit in 500 meters. Do any of you get up every morning and go for a run? I got a lot of respect for you if you do. It's uh, I'm not really a morning person, so it's pretty impressive to me when people can commit to doing that and follow through. We got this roundabout coming here, which is always fun. So I've got to turn left. My GPS is trying to get me to go straight through downtown. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go all the way around and turn left. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Now I'm going to take the third exit. How about that? Super careful here, and then we go right through here, and in here. Perfect. Good timing, see? That wasn't so bad. It's going to be a good day. In 500 meters, 
Slight left on. Veterans Drive. Highway 658 and then. Slight left. Well, the sun is a little bit up in the sky now. Not quite up, up, but it's getting up. Just arrived, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six trucks in front of me. <laughs> oh, so I won't be getting unloaded today. It's a six hour drive down to where I need to be. And if I can be there by 4.30, I can get unloaded, right? And it takes about two hours here at 7 a.m. So usually, if I were to be first to get loaded, I could be out of here by 9 a.m., get there by three. The latest I can leave here and still get unloaded there is about 10, 10.30. 10 o'clock, and that's three hours from now. Six guys have got to get loaded in front of me. They've all got to get tarped before me. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we'll be getting unloaded tomorrow morning. Whatever, that's okay, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. So uh, I'm gonna go in and get my paperwork and uh, <laughs> patiently wait in line. Usually the lineup isn't this long first thing in the morning, but everybody seems to be on the ball today. Everybody. And behind this guy. Good for you, everybody. Good for you. You're on the ball. I was hoping to be the only one on the ball this morning, but... <laughs> ah, Pooper scoopers. So that's it, everybody. I have to wrap this up. I have to start tomorrow's day. I'm in the tarp shed here. I have to quickly get these tarps on. There's nobody behind me right now, but I want to get out of here as fast as possible. I was the last one to get loaded, but you never know. There might be someone who comes up behind me. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.